हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे ई मेन विच इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड द कंसेप्ट यूज हियर इज बिफोर गोइंग टू द कंसेप्ट लेट चेक द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन से इज दैट वी हैव टू चार्जेस प्लेस डेट माइनस ए एंड ए ऑन एक्स एक्सिस एंड अनदर चार्ज क्यू बाई टू इज प्लेस डेट ओरिजिन which is moved along y axis by a distance y which is very very less than a so how to solve this question and what are the concept used to solve this question so as the question says we have see two charges q and another charge q place that minus a and a now another charge q by 2 which is placed at a distance y which is very very less than a and charge is q by 2 now let's see the force acting on q by 2 so here we have a force say one force another force is acted upon here if net force is say f let the angle be theta then we have what we can split or the resultant will be resultant of this will be this and this and f cos theta and f sin theta another is this one so the horizontal component get cancelled and vertical component adds up so net force will be 2f cos theta so 2f cos theta this will be net force equals 2f cos theta so what is the force between two charges so we have charge q another charge q by 2 so force is proportional to product of charge divided by distance square so we have to calculate the distance how to calculate the distance see this distance is a this is small y so this distance will be root of a square plus y square so product of charge by distance square root of a square plus y square whole square this is the force between two charge some constant our constant is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into cos theta what is cos theta here see cos theta will be if let's say this is our theta cos theta will be y by root of a square plus y square so it will be y by root of a square plus y square which is equal to our required force so question is force is see this part denominator part this will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 a square plus y square whole raised to 3 by 2 into q into q by 2 into y 
now in question it is mentioned that y is very very less than a so denominator will become a cube so it will be q q by 2 y by a cube into some constant which is the force so force is proportional to y so we can say force is proportional to y since a is already given which is constant so force is proportional to y which is our option b so this option is b so if you want to go through this concept you can see the video here which will give more clarity about this concept this video is of only duration 2 minutes 30 seconds and you can get this concept from ncert also thank you students